this is Stampy, and welcome to part number two of the Race for the Never Challenge. Uh, in this challenge, I'm racing against Squid to try and get to the Never, get some soul sand, and bring it back to my house. And in the last episode, I found this area here uh, where there's lots of lava, which is exactly uh, what I was after. But I also... Oh, is this obsidian here, actually? And I also found Squid Nugget. I know he is close by to me. Okay, so I want to be very careful uh, just in case uh, he tries to sneak up on me. And I think there's a good chance he is. I saw that he crouched. If you saw at the end of the last episode, he crouched down, which means that he knows that I am close. So I want to be uh, very careful. So uh, for starters, I'm just going to go down and I'm going to make my uh, my water source down here. So let's go and get uh, my two buckets of, uh, of water. And uh, let's go and uh, place these down here. Uh, so then that way I can have my endless water down here. There we go. That worked. And let's go and fill these up as well uh, just to, to be safe. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try... Oh, look, he's right there. I don't like this. I'm more worried now. I was fine when I thought I was here by myself. <laughs> right. So I want to make a... Uh, just dig out a bit of an area uh, where I'm actually going to, to build my portal. So I could do like a frame. If I build like a frame for where the portal is going to be, then I can just place all of the, the water and lava just on that. Okay, so I'm going to make a, a cobblestone frame uh, on this uh, area here, I think. So let's just go and uh, dig this uh, out a little bit uh, so I have some room. So my idea for making the portal is rather than gathering up the obsidian, I'm just going to go and try and just make the portal, you know, by just making the obsidian uh, in the place that it needs to be. So the frame needs to be bigger than the portal's going to be because uh, the portal's going to, to fit into it. So, um... All right, I need to get this right side. I think it needs to be one bigger this way. Uh, I've not made many never portals, actually, so I'm not really an expert at this. So uh, this needs to go up this way now. I guess I can just use the, the dirt and stuff that's already there. And then it needs to go to this height, I think. And then across this way. And then down like... Oh, no, this needs to go one wider this side as well. And Squid's still close by. He's still lurking. He's lurking close to me. Why did he come this way? The only reason I went in the direction I was was just to stay away from squid it seems like maybe his strategy uh, is to to go after me i try to avoid him maybe he's trying to to attack me who knows <laughs> right so i think this should be i think the portal should fit perfectly into here so if i just place the water and lava on there this should be okay but i'm going to be continually uh, checking uh, behind me uh, just to see uh, whether squid is going to try and attack me so uh, let's go and get rid of a uh, can i block off this water somehow because this is just a bit of a pain let's just go and uh, build a, a platform over it because i'm going to be uh, struggling through it every time i uh, i go to the uh, the lava so let's go and build this uh, along here and uh, there aren't any diamonds actually i kind of didn't bother looking for diamonds when I got here. There is obsidian on the floor, but that's not going to help me because I have no way to, to gather it uh, without the... Um uh, yeah, without the uh, the um, uh, the diamond pickaxe. So the plan is, is that I grab the lava and I place the lava and then place the water. And oh, no, that didn't work. Okay, I did that wrong. So I think I need to make it so the uh, uh, the water drops onto the lava. Uh, so as I mentioned, I've never done this before. This is a, a method <laughs> of making a never portal I haven't even tried before. I'm pretty sure it should work. I'm pretty sure in theory uh, it should work. I just need to make sure it does work and all. Where's Squid? Where's Squid? Okay. Oh, he's getting so close to me. Why is he coming down here? No, just let me be, Squid. Just let me be. All right, let me go and uh, place the lava there. And then the water. There we go. Look. There we go. Look. I've made the first bit of obsidian. This is working well. Look. So if I just do this the whole way around, I can make it. But right, I need to forget about that for now because we have an intruder. Let's go and try and deal with Squid Nugget first, shall we? He is right here. He is literally right on my doorstep. And this is a PvP challenge. So we can go and attack each other. I know what to do. If I get a bucket of lava, I could try and attack him uh, with the, the lava. That might work quite well. <laughs> that could be pretty sneaky. Uh, but he's just crouched down. I know he's round here somewhere, uh, but he has crouched. Oh, there he is. Hello, Squid Nugget. Hello, how are you doing over there, my buddy? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can drop some lava on him. That would be uh, the best way to, to do him. There we go. I dropped lava on him. I dropped lava on him. <laughs> he was trying to sneak up on me, but I dropped lava on him. Okay, I don't want to let him escape here. Oh, no, but I can't chase him because the lava's here. Oh, there we go. I've grabbed up the, the lava. Let me try and break through and finish him off. There we go. I can get him. I can get him through the wall. He must be so weak now. He must be so, so weak. And I got him. I was able to take him out. That's what he gets. <laughs> That's what he gets for trying to sneak up on me. I just wanted to let him be, but he tried to go after me. Right, let's go and um, 
Uh, let's go and make a chest and uh, try and store all of his uh, his things then because uh, there might be some good stuff here But I don't really have room uh, to, to pick it up do I so uh, let's go and make a, a crafting table and uh, uh, Let's go make uh, myself a, a chest and I'll just place it down here And uh, let's just go into just empty it with all of this rubbish that I don't need uh, as well uh, And then I can go and pick up all of his stuff because uh, I got all of his armor I can actually just burn his armor like I don't need more armor do I I've got plenty of armor <laughs> I can just go and burn it because he's probably going to come back back now and uh, try and uh, go after me again. Oh look, he's just dug, he just dug straight down to go after me, didn't he? <laughs> what an evil squid nugget trying to, to attack me. Right, so let's go, uh, uh, let's go here and uh, let's go and try and empty my pockets a bit more with some of this stuff that I don't need. Uh, the furnace might come in handy, I don't need the, uh, the flint. Actually, I will need a little bit of flint uh, to uh, light the portal. Oh look, he's got a flint and steel already. Okay, it like, looks like he's, uh, looks like he was trying to go the, uh, the other route and uh, actually try and light the uh, the portal and do it all properly. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, just empty out some more of this stuff that I don't really need, and I can go and gather up the uh, the rest of his stuff. And uh, yeah, he's going to probably go after it now. So um, it looks like if he tries to jump down there, let's just try and block this area off a little bit. And I just really uh, need to watch my back uh, in case he does try and uh, attack me uh, again, because there's a good chance uh, that that's what he's going to try and do. Though I don't know, maybe he's just going to have learnt his lesson and stay away from me. But I am going to be me now, and I am going to go and just burn. I might as well burn this sword uh, because his one uh, uh, is stronger than mine, seeing as he didn't get many hits on me. <laughs> and let's go and burn all of his armor. Then that way, uh, there's no chance he's going to to be able uh, to get it back. <laughs> that was quite good fun. All right then, uh, let's carry on doing what I was doing then. So uh, let's try and make the uh, the portal uh, the way I was. So if I put some... Um uh, some lava here and then some water there. There we go. Uh, I made uh, a little bit more obsidian. Uh, it's a bit of a, a slow way to do it. Uh, it would be much better uh, if I did get the uh, the diamonds, uh, but it is working. This method uh, is working though. So uh, I went and made a little bit more there and it's actually not taking too long. Uh, the problem is I don't want to make any mistakes because it's going to be really hard to get rid of. So um, it's going to be hard to do that gap there. If I break this away and put the, uh, the lava here and then the water Water there. There we go. That worked beautifully. And is Squid sneaking up on me? I can't see him. I can't see him trying to, to sneak up on me. Uh, so I think I should be uh, okay for now. He might be trying to crouch up on me. We're not far away from the, the spawn, uh, so it wouldn't take long uh, for him to, to get back uh, to where we were. So it is a bit worrying. Let me try putting that there, and then the water there. Did that work? There we go! That worked perfectly. There we go. That's one uh, line done uh, from the, uh, the portal already. I think there's a chance that he might now, seeing as he's so set back, there's a chance he might just try and uh, try and stop me getting my soul sand back. Remember, he doesn't necessarily need to get to the nether. I know this challenge is called Race to the Nether, <laughs> but it's not actually required uh, that he does go to the nether. He could just wait for me to get back from the nether and steal my soul sand. The only thing you need is proof you've been to the nether, and we decided that would be soul sand. Uh, so he could just try and wait and uh, try and get me that way. And he is a sneaky squid, as we've all just seen already. So <laughs> there's a good chance uh, that that might be uh, what he uh, he tries to do and I can't see him sneaking up on me. I'm getting really paranoid if you can't tell I'm getting really paranoid that he is uh, gonna try and sneak up on me for now though uh, It seems to be okay. Let me just take a, a little quick check uh, up over in uh, in this direction and uh, just make sure he's uh, he's nowhere near to me I did block this off didn't I? <laughs> Let me just go and have a quick look no, he doesn't seem to be here. Let's just leave a little bit of lava down here. In case he does try and drop down, uh, maybe he's going to fall and land into that. Who knows? <laughs> right, let's go and light this up as well. So no googly spawn here. And uh, let's carry on uh, doing what it was I was trying to, to do. And let's not worry about him. Actually, I can look at the map. I've got a map, don't I? I can just check this. Um, uh, oh, he just burned to death. <laughs> right. Oh, he didn't go down there. Do you think he went down on my lava? Do you reckon he tried to jump down? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. This is good, though. This is looking uh, very good for, for me. So let's go and uh, carry on just doing uh, what it was that, I am, uh, that I'm doing. And I uh, get the, the rest of this portal done. And I can use the map. Because we've got gamer tags on this time, uh, I can just keep checking my map. And I can see if he is trying to sneak up on me. And uh, he can't, basically. As soon as I know that he's close, I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. And I'm just going to focus on him. Because there's no way uh, he's going to be able to get more iron armor uh, as quickly as... Uh, 
uh, as I've got it now. So he did have a full set of iron armor, just like I did. Uh, but I was able to, to outsmart him and use the, the lava to, to take him out. <laughs> uh, but the, yeah, it will take him a very long time uh, to get all of the, the armor again. So uh, let me do this bottom row. Then I'm going to check the uh, the map again. And then we're almost ready to, to light the, the portal itself. This is actually a really fast and effective way uh, to make a, a never portal, isn't it? And where's my map gone? Oh, I got two maps, don't I? Because <laughs> I got his map as well. And oh, okay, it looks like he's not coming after me. It looks like uh, he's staying in the, the house at the, the moment. So I am safe for now and uh, should be okay uh, to go to the never. And it doesn't actually tell him once I have gone to the never. Oh, actually, what he could do is wait for me to go to the portal and then just try and follow through after me. He could try and use my never portal. Okay, so I guess that I don't really know how to stop him doing that because he knows where I am. He knows that he could come to, to here and he could try and use my portal. And I don't really know how to stop him from doing that uh, other than uh, just hiding my portal. Uh, I guess if I'm just really quick, uh, I should be able to get there and get back before he gets here. And oh, look, he's coming in my direction. He is coming this way. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. What could I do? How could I... How could I stop him from getting here? Tell you what, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go and I'm just going to head through and I'm going to just try and get back before he can get here. And there we go. I've made the portal. I can go to the, the, the never. Have I got everything I need? I do believe that I do. So let's just do it. Let's just try and get to the never and get back out before he has a chance to, to get here. And whoa. Okay. I just remember the never's dangerous. And is this soul sand? I think this is soul sand right here. Is it? Yes, it is. I got soul sand. <laughs> right. That was easy. That was probably the world's shortest trip to the never. And this is good because I can now go and block off the portal because I don't need to go there again. I can block it off. Uh, and oh, look. Oh, he's right here. He's right by me again. Right. Let's go and um, oh, oh, it's not letting me place blocks on it. Uh, if I just destroy one of these blocks, then that way uh, he won't. Oh, no, it's going to take too long. Right. Forget that. Forget that. I am just going to go and try and get out of here. But I know he is sneaking up on me uh, somewhere around here. And oh, look, there he is. I can see him. <laughs> I can see him. Right. Let's go and get uh, my bucket of lava here again. And I got a bucket of water as well in case he tries uh, to set me on fire. And all I need to do is try and get out of this cave. And oh, he's running away. He's running away. He's scared of me. <laughs> I am not surprised uh, after last time. So let's go and just try and get out of this cave. I want to try and go uh, away where he isn't, uh, wherever possible. So uh, let's go this way, I guess. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about fighting the Googlies because it's not worth it. And uh, let's just dig. Let's just dig. I don't want to risk uh, going to, to a cave. I just want to get out of here uh, as fast as I can. So let's just go and dig my way out of here if I can. Uh, let's go up this way and uh, let's just keep heading uh, as far uh, as away from this area as I can. I also uh, want to have my map at hand so I can see uh, how close he is. Oh, he's so close by. He is so close by. I think he's going to try and use my portal. That's what I reckon. I was very lucky uh, with how fast I was able to, to get the, uh, the soul sand. Because if if I spent a long time in the nether uh, trying to find the, the soul sand, uh, that could have been very difficult for me. So luckily, I was able to, to find it uh, as quickly as I, as I could. So all I need to do now is uh, make sure I'm safe uh, while I'm digging out of here. Because uh, as you know, uh, digging out of caves uh, can actually be quite dangerous. If I end up coming up by the ocean or by some gravel, it could be quite dangerous. But staircasing like this uh, is probably the uh, the safest way uh, for, for me to, to be able to, to do this and, uh, and get out okay. And is he close? Bye. I can't see him. I can't see him anywhere near me. I can't see his game attack. He is still close though. I think he's trying to go down to my portal and if he's able to get out of a cave quicker than I dig out, uh, then that could be quite dangerous. And am I under the ocean? I'm under the ocean as well. I think if I keep digging this way, uh, I'm going to get away from the ocean though. But uh, if some water rushes in, I want to be very careful. I do have some torches though, uh, so I can use them so I can breathe under underwater. Uh, but yeah, digging up under the, the sea uh, is one of the, uh, the most dangerous things uh, you can uh, do in Minecraft because sometimes you just simply uh, don't have enough, uh, enough breath uh, to swim up to the uh, the surface. And oh, Squid tried to swim in lava. <laughs> oh, do you think he got to the nether? 
Maybe he got to the nether and died there, or did he fall in my, like, nether trap again? My lava trap? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what he's trying to do. But that's twice I think he's burnt in lava. Hmm, I'm not sure what his plan is, and where am I? Okay, I seem to be getting right to the, uh, the edge of the ocean, and oh, I can see water. Right, is this okay? Is it too deep? Oh, I can see the houses! I can see the houses are right here, but where is Squid? Where is Squid? Is he close by? He is pretty close by. I can't see him, though, but I have come up on the surface right Right behind my house. That is absolutely perfect. No, 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 wait a minute. His beacon's blue. He hasn't got soul sand already, has he? Has he won? He hasn't won, has he? Has he really won? Really, Squid? You haven't won, have you? Let me, let me go and put my soul sand in anyway, because I want to I wanna take my victory. But has he really got soul sand? How did he do that? How did... What? What? Let, let, me, go and, let me go and investigate this. Let me, let me go and see. How did he get to the never quicker than me? I was so fast and I killed him. Do you think he had already gone to the never by the time he came down to me? No way. No way. Look, he's got it. He's got so bad. How did it happen? How did the, I have no idea how this happened. That is amazing though. <laughs> That is amazing. Squid was able to win. I didn't even think that he got to the never. Okay, so I am going to go right now and I'm going to go and watch his view because I want to find out what he did and I recommend you do the same as well. If you haven't seen Squid's view, uh, I'll leave a, a link to it in the description so you can find out uh, how he managed to pull off the incredible uh, which he was able to pull off. I don't even care that I lost. I am just impressed. I don't know what he did, but whatever he did has impressed me because he must have done that so fast. I was certain that I had won this one, but I hadn't. <laughs> what a twist at the end of this challenge. But sadly, that is the end of this challenge challenge. Hopefully uh, you all enjoyed it. I want to say a very big congratulations to uh, Squid Nugget uh, who was able to, to win the challenge and uh, coming up after this uh, we're going to be doing a brand new adventure map as well which is a sequel uh, to an adventure map we've done in the past. So uh, yeah make sure you check back here next Tuesday uh, to see what that's going to be. Uh, but for now I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!